Hey, Gavax here. Hopefully you saw my video yesterday on the best five offensive playbooks. Today I'm going to go through the best five defensive playbooks to start Madden 21. Now, I'm going to show off huddle.gg, linked in the description. Also, Madden School has their playbook tool out too. They'll also be linked. Um, I prefer huddle.gg a little bit better because it shows you kind of like the inner workings of what plays connected to different playbooks. Um, and I find that slightly more usable. But either one of them fine. Both did a good job with it. But anyways... This isn't an advertisement for them. This is what five playbooks are going to be best. All right, let's start at the bottom on defense. Um, I like, and I think it's it, this. I feel like almost want to do like a, a tie for fifth, I guess, between the Giants and the Bears. I saw some people angry at me for saying like and doing things like, "Oh, you're going to ruin it because people are going to play use bad plays." Whatever, dude. All right, now what's good about the Giants? And this is tied for fifth with the Bears. I like 3-4 Bear, 3-4 Odd. 3-4 Bear has some pretty neat blitzes. Odd Odd is very powerful for this cover four drop show too, which a lot of people struggle against. You can either send the house and just have four guys back there. It's going to be a little less effective. I think this year you'll still see a lot of people using it though, uh, just because you know deep quarters won't be able to play the flats as well in 21 as 20. Um, but so there's a solid like variety of plays in this solo battle, pinch my go, uh, pinch bucko. Those are like the, the cheese and I still think man coverage might be the meta to start the year because of how good uh, it was in the beta. They could have tuned it though. So I like 3-4 odd, but of course you can't play man coverage with linebackers, just FYI. And so you don't, you want to blitz your linebackers and play man coverage with the DBs. 3-4 bear, um, there was some good stuff. Pinch dog 3 had a decent blitz. Cover 3 just, you know, floods the field with people. You'll probably want to keep spy out there if you're playing with a Lamar. Cover 2 inverts are always nice, but uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Bear is basically an attacking defense uh, that you want to try and like send a lot of guys through different gaps at the offense. Then in nickel, it had 3-3-5 wide, which was the best run-stopping form after the 2-4-5 odd nerf in 20. This was what people went to. When, they were, when you had to stop the run in 20. So 21 cover two, man. You'd press. You'd put your safeties here on spies. So they attack the line of scrimmage. I hope these things, that they, and they did promise, they do attack the line of scrimmage a little bit better in 21 against the run than it did in 20. So we'll see what kind of adjustments we need to make to the safeties. Of course, you can do this in zone two. You can come out, press in zone. Just worry about like getting beat over top if you press to cover three. Cover four pressed is a little bit safer. Uh, press and shading over top is like the key sometimes in zone or in man, but we'll see what kind of mechanics happen in 21 with press, but uh, definitely something worth looking at at the beginning. 2-5 double A gap for like the mid blitz cheese, obviously does well in solos, uh, but uh, otherwise you don't really see it a whole lot online. Uh, maybe you'll see some like cover three to disguise, like people just want to send mid blitz at you and trying to like heat you up pretty hard if they're a 2 for 5 double A gap, but really here, big nickel over G, this is a great defense, because this it's very unique to this specific set. And you, didn't, you saw this a lot in 20, but 21, this formation left a lot of playbooks. Because a lot of teams, I guess, didn't run as much in, in this year. And, you know, Madden updates their playbooks to match team playbooks. So this guy can go into a deep third. It's very unique because this is a strong, this is a safety spot. So we can go into deep third. So you can play like a confusing cover two, cover three type of play where people won't know how to attack you. Until I figure out, oh wait, it's a cover three shell instead of the cover two shell that I'm going to see in the previous play. So that's kind of neat. It's also nice. You get some uh, decent pressure off the edge if you blitz them in like a cover two. There's some solid uh, right here. Contain blitzes last year, obviously. That was big. SS, you can do the same thing in two and in cover three uh, for you uh, out of that blitz. So it's a solid overall, kind of versatile, more of a coverage-based defense that I found. And just let your four guys or three guys with a spy do the work. Dime 146 was the meta in 20 for basically the whole year up until like, uh, you know, the, you know, it was kind of like an incidental patch along with the 245 odd patch, DB Sting Buzz 2. We'll see how good uh, these kind of contain blitzes are to start the year. They were whatever in the beta. Uh, but I'm sure, like, and a lot of this is going to warp depending on what kind of sets we can find the bl best blitzes in. The first competitive tournament will basically set the defensive meta for a long time until the second one. That's kind of how it seems. Uh, it's been going. Uh, of course, I'll be doing some lab work too, so check out my channel going. But, uh, yeah, the competitive guys, once they bring out the, the, the goons and the heats and once they show it, everybody what they have, the meta will, will warp around what wins. So Bears defense, I, I like this one. It's tied for fifth for me because they have like unique, like 3-4 Cub is different, right? When they bring in new 
formations, there might be some glitchy plays, right? The 2-4-5 odd was brought in. We found this really cool run D. So 3-4 Cub is a pretty new type of defense. 3-4 odd is the one I just went over. That one's been in the game forever. Over Predator, okay, solid two. Even 6-1. Six, 6-1 one. Six, one would be kind of mean if you're just blitzing off the edge here, right? If you can get home uh, with sending six, you can send it like maybe more of an overload style blitz, but you know, that's really gambling. So 6-1 is an interesting 4-3 type of... Uh, you know, it's it's a new one that we just got last year, so there could be some glitches in there that we haven't found yet. Two four five odd. This was the one, the play, right? The play that basically shut down the run game until they patched this is bench blitz three. We'll see if it stays patched, if it's back to its effectiveness of last year pre-patch. Sometimes they forget to patch them for the next year for patches they did the previous year. So bench blitz might be the meta to start the year again. Uh, and if so, Bears is definitely going to be one of the top books and one of the top ones you want to be in. So uh, they also have one four six. What you what you saw, what I talked about last with the, the double edge heat and the DB Sting Buzz 2, we just blitz all your players and they kind of get around the edge really nicely. But of course, they do have, you know, man coverage, cover one, uh, DB Sting. You could flood it with cover four, cover six press. Um, also, I didn't really talk about, and I should, they have 335 odd here, which is kind of cool. Nickel triple might be nice. Um, I didn't talk about that last book with the Giants, but maybe I'll talk about it when we get to another book. All right, another one in the top five. I also like, so the Bears are really good, right? I can totally see the Bears being a top two book. But uh, I really like the Detroit Lions book as my number four. They got the 46 Cub, a very unique formation. Uh, you only see it in this in this book. So if somebody can make something work in here, this could be amazing. And, and remember when you see cover four quarters or cover four palms, that's match. The same thing as cover three match. Basically, it, ma it, it converts into a man coverage. So if you don't know that, you know that now. Uh, but some of these things can come out kind of neat. We'll have to lab up with 46 Cub and other things. But if you don't have that, three four, it has 3-4 odd. Great. We talked about it's 6-1, but it's like an even 6-1, so slightly different, but basically the same thing. 2-4-5 uh, odd. Again, we'll see if that guy, if that's patched. 3-3-5 odd, one of the best run defenses last year, and I, could, I, I will think it's going to be the same. And then dollar three two six. So very similar to Bears, but it's got a nice dollar three two six. Which you all know was like the meta in like was it 17? I think when you cross man DB fire two, a great play there. And of course you can do all the other shenanigans. You can you know be, uh, bleach your blitz them with all the corners, but that's generally only okay effective. Cover three cloud show. I love cover three clouds because people don't expect it as much. And then cover four drop contain is always a, a nice you know base coverage there for you. Number three defensive book. I was thinking about the Patriots, but then I kind of went through and I'm like, oh, wait, the Dolphins are actually straight up better than the Patriots, in my opinion. They have the 3-4-I we talked about, 3-4-Bear we talked about before, the even 6-1. They have 3-3-5-Odd, which is a unique thing to just, uh, I guess there's five playbooks with it. Ravens, Patriots, Giants, Dolphins. So Dolphins 3 5 odd. So this was, uh, this this looping blitz out of LB Cross Show 2 was the meta a few years ago. We'll see if we can somehow get this looper to get through the offense alignment in 21. I'm skeptical of it because they've done a pretty good job on looping blitzes. But overall, it's a pretty unique set and, and does some de decent things. I mean, a lot of this is the base plays that we've seen. We'll see how these things end up holding against the run. It does have big nickel over G. Like I said, it has that nice, uh, you know, cover three type of uh, confusing when you when you make that adjustment to your strong safety also i really love big nickel cover four palms like only big nickel cover four palms like the other cover four palms I, I i'm really shaky on them but big nickel seems to play tight sets pretty well with cover four palms especially if you played last year with rollout corners like nickel played cover four palms completely different than big nickel with the same adjustments and big nickel was the one that played a lot better quarters plays a little different palms is kind of like a cover two type of match system uh, whereas cover four is quarters plays it a little bit better and, and not sorry a little bit I'd say different than cover four palms and how they play it all right die one four six is in this one like I said one four six dollar both solid um, so overall I really like the Dolphins defense for what it offers all across the board um, goal line formation is pretty similar prevent three deep so on and so forth but I like the, the other things, the first things went through. Number two, this is kind of maybe something that's uh, controversial and people might get on me about it, but I like it because it's a little different than what I've shown. It does have a 3-4 under set, which, you know, whatever. We haven't seen a lot of 3-4 under. Uh, maybe some, we've had a couple blitzes over the years, but nothing crazy. It has 4-3 normal in it, and we'll see if normal becomes meta. 
I four three wide might need a must. Like I, I could see this switching to four three, getting a playbook four three wide. Four three wide some years has had really good pass rush angles. Something we'll want to test out. Nickel three three five is definitely something that I really like. It was you know three three five was my thing, and then it really exploded on the on the on the uh, online uh, competition. Right, it was my baby for so long, and then it took off. Right, I think somebody won a championship with it one year. And then it took off in popularity. I think that was 19, 18. I was running it in 17. And it became like the number one meta in 18 too. Uh, my, my favorite Tampa 2. This was my my soul. And then it became the meta. And it was like, oh, my soul was taken from me because it was it was so great. But it is fun to set the metas instead of following them, um, which I've done a few times with a few different sets. Three double buzz is really cool. You get to use your safety then instead of using the middle linebacker who won't jump or doesn't jump as much as safeties in this game. So I really like 3 3 5. Nickel normal is okay. Uh, big nickel over G, like I talked about. It has dime normal, which which has been shaky over the years. And then it has dollar, right? So it's a 4-3 type of defense with 4-3 normal. 4-3 normal seen its fair share of decent uh, blitzes from the, the, the depth, the linebackers. Um, these guys coming down, they sometimes get around linemen pretty well and get ignored in, in, with certain contain shenanigans. But overall... Uh, I like it because it's a 4-3. So I'm going to put it at number two, but I could see not a lot of people using 4-3 because 4-3 hasn't been very valid for a couple years. My number one playbook in Madden 21 to start off on defense, if this is in Mutt, I think multiple D is where I want to be. It has 3-4 odd, really cool. 4-3 normal, really nice. 52, which we haven't gotten to, but 52 can get some pretty neat like uh, fire zone 2. You can send another guy here to try and overload them. You can shift your line to try and, like you know, like I said, overload them to one side, overload them to the other, stop the run. So 52 solid. 3-5 wide, which is that run-stopping formation. 3-5 normal, which I just talked about. Dime normal. It's got dollar. And then uh, nickel normal. So it doesn't have, like, big nickel over G. But it has a lot of the things that you can basically use and stay versatile on defense no matter what your opponent is doing if you want to go with 4-3 personnel 3-4 personnel depending on how they're attacking you 52 nickel it's got some of the best nickels too um so it's a very like standard stock safe amazing playbook to start off with we'll see if multiple d is there in mutt on launch but otherwise the other defense that i went over and those schemes are not bad themselves so good luck it did look like man coverage is looking pretty solid so try and work that in to your scheme a little bit more in 21 than just sitting in straight zone the whole game. That's it for my, what do you guys think? Uh, have you guys looked through these tools, looked through all the books that between offense and now defense? Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.